You're watching a Prince George's County Public Schools News Break. From the sheer joy on the faces of the athletes at the Prince George's Special Olympiad, you'd have thought every competitor had won. Which, of course, they had. At the 44th annual staging of the local Special Olympics, held at the Sports and Learning Complex in Landover, over 650 challenged youngsters from 55 different schools gave their personal bests in dozens of track and field events. And just like at the actual Olympics, the traditional torch was carried around the field, medals were awarded, and the dream of Eunice Kennedy Shriver was reenacted anew as very special youngsters with very big hearts showed what determination can do. These are special young people and the joy on their faces, you don't see that any other time. No, you don't. And I saw the kids coming in when they were walking. They were cheering as they was coming in. They were all excited. I, they got me all, you know, into it. And I was cheering right along with them. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, this is some of the good things of the county that we need to uh, make sure that we advertise more often because this is great. You know, of course, all these students have a, a disability. And too often we hear about the things they can't do. Today is about what they can do and it's on full display and um, the reason it never gets old and why everybody wants to keep coming back is because we see the smile on the pride of our student athletes and then we look beyond that and we see the family members and we see the pride in them and the, and the enjoyment and it's just a great day. At times it was hard to tell who was enjoying themselves more the Special Olympians or the volunteers, police, school staff, parents, and high school students who were there to cheer them on. Those kids are taking this seriously. They're high school students who are here treating it as, not just as community service, but as something that they enjoy. I just talked to two young ladies who are on a softball team who have a game later today, and they, they said, well, we'll get back to the game, but this is really important. Isabel, are you going to get a medal? Yes. 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 Are you proud of her mom? We are very proud. I'm not her mom. I'm just her buddy, but I'm so oh. proud of her. And here's her teacher. Her teacher? Yeah. Tell me about Isabel. She's a very nice girl. Very helpful in class. Very participative. And a good athlete, too, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Brian, congratulations on your medal. Thank you. Shake your hand. What do you want to tell us? I'll tell you. All right. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, I know you're proud of him today. Yes, I am. Yeah. Has he done this before? Last year was his first year. This is his second time here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he gets a medal each time. Yes, he does. Yeah. And he also participates in the school challenge day, which is every year. And he's been doing that for the past 15 years. That's wonderful. Now he's got a whole cheering section here. Who's this? Woo! That's right. Young Woo! Woo! These are, all of these are all, his aunts. All, we all aunts. All three of them. And all. you're proud of Brian, aren't you? Yes, <laughs> yes we How are. Nice shout out for Brian. Yay! 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 Congratulations to all the Special Olympians whose deeds and the words they often struggled to say spoke volumes about the courage that inspires us all. Channels 96 and 38, this is Dave Zarin reporting.